The third round of the Star Sports and TRC Derby. Heat 1 saw Kildare go off favourite. Would qualify for Peter Cronin. Victory, though, went to trap three. Killed Kenny Santi. Ahead of trap two, Delish Frankie Richard. Yeah, great performance from Kill Kenny Senti coming from off the pace. The early fraction set by a trap one, Swift Iconic, who led round um, comfortably, showing his, you know, his real pace, his sprinting speed that we know he possesses. But Kill Kenny Senti in three got a lovely position, muscled his way inside four around the second bend, now in prime position down the back straight. Forge is on here at the third corner to go on and win comfortably by a length and a half from Delish Frankie in two, who came from out the clouds to qualify. Uh, with trap four, Kildare managing to get third, possibly slightly disappointing, but still in. We move on to heat two, where favourite was trap one, Ballymac Fair one for Liam Dowling, would go on to score in this heat two, ahead of Ballymac B Vault in trap three, and Priceless Jed in six. Last year's beaten finalist, Bally McFair, one favourite in the final as well. From Trap 1, though, this is uh, in a, a good performance. He seems to like the inside here at Toaster and uh, takes it up early on and goes on to score um, pretty much all the way fashion for Liam Dowling. Uh, a three-length victory in the end from Bally McBelvolt in three, who we know is strong. Got caught, chopped off there at that third corner, falls to check, but then runs on again strongly. And a good battle for third. Just one in the end by Priceless Jet for Paul Hennessy. Uh, but it was a, a thrilling finish for the places. Well, Sinek Goofy has made a real splash in this year's derby. He was to run out of trap five and win heat three. The other qualifiers, Romeo Magico in trap three and Fog and Rebel in six. John Mullins' pacey Sinek Goofy remains unbeaten. Another good start, great early pace as well. Takes him clear to that first bend, the all-important first bend. And uh, JT Wexford in four, turns in second, but can't hold the strong run in Magic, uh, Romeo Magico in trap three. Who has to work hard to go round the outside of JT Wexford. And then we're all looking to see who's finishing strongly in its trap six, four and rebel. The, you know, the old star of Richard Yates' kennel. Uh, but it was all about signing it goofy up front. Real good battle for places. Strong running performances by the qualifiers. Well, Heat 4 saw a match-up between defending champion Thorn Falcon, Greyhound of the Year, sign it ace. But it was the Irish uh, second from last year, the Irish Derby second. Sing-along Sally, who was to win here for Pat Buckley. The other qualifiers, sign it ace and Darren Asafa, boss. Yeah, sing-along Sally, what a star she is. And uh, she broke really well, manages to hold uh, her pitch on the inside of our Greyhound of the Year in the UK last year, sign it ace. And a, a battle of royal ensued. Sign it, Ace could never get clear of Sing Along Sally. She really is pacey, game, gutsy, whatever you want to throw at her. She is all of these. And she is tremendous because she hits the front of the third corner and comes away in good style. Two and three quarter lengths. So 29.34, the fastest of the night so far. And a comfortable victory in the end over Sign it, Ace. Darren Safa Boss, third for Seamus Carhill. And Heat 5 would see another Irish-trained winner, courtesy of Trap 4 for Peter Cronin. Cape Cloud beating Mickey's Barrett in five and make noise in one. Another bullet start from Peter Cronin's Cape Cloud star he is. He loves the inside. Doesn't really matter what trap he breaks from. When you break that well, you can do what you like. And he gets across to the first bend, make noise in one, moves off at that corner, definitely more middle than rails. But it was uh, irrelevant to Cape Cloud. The start, the early pace, saw Peter Cronin's star go clear. And uh, battle for second in the end. Uh, five on the outside. Mickey's Barrett comes to challenge. Runs really well. Just can't quite get round Cape Cloud. And make noise. Stays on strongly for third. But uh, another good win. 29.38 for Cape Cloud. Well, Heat 6 of the Star Sports and TRC Derby produced the finish of the night featuring Trap 4, Savannah Bow ahead of Lotaro in 6 and sign it Denver in 2. was a, a race of changing fortunes. Uh, Infield Trojan first to show from Trap 3. However, the pace of uh, sign it Denver on the inside takes it up at the, off the first bend uh, and goes on and you think oh there's a winner here for Kevin Hutton is there uh, but there's plenty of stamina in this race and that comes to the fore in the second half of this contest Lotaro in six we know stays has got all round pace and he's coming to challenge and just can't quite get round sign it Denver and while these front two are battling away charges from behind infield Trojans run well but look at Savannah Bow finish gets there right on the line two short, uh, short head and a head in 29.55 
The anti-post favourite was the star turn in heat seven. Balina Bowler Ed running out of trap five was to beat Aussie Captain in trap one and Bob Slee Dream in three. He was anti-post favourite going into this third round and he's certainly anti-post favourite after the third round with another tremendous display. A level sort of break for him. Tremendous pace to the corner again. Pat Buckley's star, Balina Bowler Ed races to the front, races clear and goes on to win by four and three quarter lengths here. Over trap one, Aussie captain has run, run tremendously for Patrick Janssen's good early pace. Rayla loves Toaster as well. 500 is as far as it wants to go, but is running well. But they were all chasing shadows. Bob's Lay Dreaming 3 is third, but wow. Balina Bowler Ed, 29-12. Heat 8 was the final heat of the night where Global Vision in trap 1 was to land the spoils of Seamus Cahill ahead of Hello Hammond in trap 2 and Coppice Fox in 5. Another really nice early pace performance here from Global Vision. Very moderately away on the rails there. Pretty much joint last, but real races into the corner. Uses that inside draw to perfect uh, in initiative and, and goes on. Goes a couple clear. And uh, Global Vision now striding on. You're looking behind thinking, well, where's, where's the pace coming from? Where's the stamina? Copies Fox, a real nice young dog coming forward for Kevin Hutton. Just turned two. Has done his best as well. Hello Hammond is a very strong stayer from the Paul Hennessy kennel. Runner up in the 600 at Shelbourne. That stamina comes to fruition. But Global vision was gone 29.52 and now we all look forward to next Saturday where the quarterfinals of the Greyhound Derby continue at Toaster.